Breaking, Al Franken Issues Nasty Statement, This Is Horrifying Senator Al Franken, DMN, has joined the list of those accused of sexual harassment and there's a photo giving the allegation serious credibility. According to the Star Tribune, Senator Franken, in spite of the accusations or the photo pointing to his inappropriate behavior, and responding to questions of whether he would resign, stated, No. The spokesperson continued, He is spending time with his family in Washington, D.C. and will be through the Thanksgiving holiday, and he's doing a lot of reflecting. The accusation was first made in an article written by Lean Tweeden for Cap News. In it, she claims Senator Franken harassed and groped her during a USO tour in 2006. At the time Mr. Franken was a comedian and it was Mrs. Tweedon's ninth tour to entertain the troops serving in the Middle East. She stated that many USO tours are tailored for a young male audience which means they typically include skits full of sexual innuendos and other risque acts. Mr. Franken had apparently written a skit for him and Mrs. Tweedon to perform that included a kiss. Tweedon agreed thinking she could avoid the kiss and cause a few laughs. Backstage, Mr. Franken apparently insisted on rehearsing the kiss, despite multiple rejections he continued to be insistent. Mrs. Tweedon reluctantly consented, intending to avoid the kiss by turning her head like she would in the performance. Instead, Mr. Franken allegedly grabbed her head and forced his tongue into her mouth. Disgusted, she fought him off and avoided him for the rest of the USO tour apart from their performances. At the time she was afraid of causing a scene and refrained from telling anyone. During the 36-hour trip back to Los Angeles, after two weeks of performing for the troops and travel, Mrs. Tweedon says she fell asleep in the C-17 cargo plane taking them home while wearing a flak vest and Kevlar helmet. Backstage side, she saw a picture of what happened while she was asleep that disturbed her. It was Mr. Franken posing for the picture with his hands over her breasts and a smile on his face, all while she was asleep and unaware that she was being groped. Mrs. Tweedon says she had buried the memories and the emotions for over 10 years, worried about the repercussions and backlash if she came forward, especially after Mr. Franken later became a senator. Now, following the numerous other stories of harassment, she has found the courage to come forward and tell her story. She says she's not doing it because of how long it's been, the fact that she's more confident and secure now, or that she's still angry about the abuse. In her words, she's telling the story now, because there may be others. While the perpetrators of other sexual harassment incidents may be able to shrug it off when there's no evidence, Mr. Franken can't deny a photo showing him groping a sleeping woman. What's equally as disturbing as Senator Franken's sexually deviant behavior is that he has no intention of resigning from office. Even worse, some liberals and Democrats have defended Mr. Franken, saying that while the accusations and the photo are disturbing, he was not a senator at the time but just a comedian. Somehow they suggest that he shouldn't be held as accountable for his file actions because he was a comedian. Mr. Franken should be held accountable for his actions. His legitimacy to serve as an elected representative for the American people should at the very least be questioned, if not by him, then by his constituents. New Woman Accuses Al Franken of Sexual Assault at Minnesota State Fair Lindsay Menz has come forward revealing Democrat Senator Al Franken inappropriately touched her at the Minnesota State Fair in 2010. Franken reportedly grabbed her buttocks tightly while taking a photo. It wasn't around my waist. It wasn't around my hip or side. It was definitely on my butt, Lindsay Menz told CNN. I was like, oh my god, what's happening, Menz added. Below is the photo Franken took with Menz. Lindsay Menz, a 33-year-old woman who now lives in Frisco, Texas, reached out to CNN on Thursday hours after Tweeden made her story public. Menz said she wanted to share an uncomfortable interaction that left her feeling gross. According to Menz, she attended the Minnesota State Fair with her husband and father in the summer of 2010, almost two years after Franken was elected to the Senate. Her father's small business was sponsoring a local radio booth, and she spent the day meeting various elected officials, political candidates and celebrities and taking photos with them as they stopped by the booth. When Franken walked in, Menz and her husband, 
who also spoke with CNN, said they recognized him right away. Menz said she had a brief and cordial exchange with the senator. Then, as her husband held up her phone and got ready to snap a photo of the two of them, Franken pulled me in really close, like awkward close, and as my husband took the picture, he put his hand for fledged on my ear, Menz said. It was wrapped tightly around my butt cheek. Both Republicans and Democrats are calling for an ethics probe. Ethics probe.